Hello everyone, my name is Kita Sean, and we're going to go ahead and play the Zonky Zero Last Beginning Demo. Now this game is officially releasing here in North America June, July of this year I believe. I remember the month started with the J, so it has to be one of those two months. But uh, this is the game that I've been looking forward to for a while now. Like, anything Spike Chunsoft that's coming out this year for North America, I'm actually looking forward to all of them for some reason. I don't know why. And I think it's because of last year. Like, I see I see all these, like, Japanese uh, YouTube gamers play them. I'm like, dude, that looks like a really fun game. So I stopped watching them. And um, I was like, you know what? Once this game comes out to America, I'm going to play it. And randomly this year like earlier this year they just announced a whole bunch of games coming out for north america so i think you can expect a lot of spike tune soft games for me uh to play on this channel but anyways let's go ahead and play the game i have no idea what the game is about but for some reason i'm just really looking forward to it so let's go all right oh wait first person view Oh, first person view, that's new. Like, I know this is like a visual novel type game, but I wonder. Oh, am I supposed to follow that girl? I'm going to follow that girl because I'm assuming I have to follow that girl. Where she, where she go? Where she go? Eh? Where she go? This way? It. Eh? Where was it? Eh? 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 I heard, I heard the voices. Is it over here? It? Huh? Oh, there she is. Okay, so this garage. Oh, what is this? Exit end? Pointer. Uh, the pointer can be controlled with L, the L stick. Adjust the pointer to a spot you wish to inspect, then press X to obtain more information. Oh, okay. So, inspecting can trigger actions such as, such as uncovering hints, granting items, and opening and closing doors. Be sure to actively inspect any spot that circles your attention by using the pointer. Okay. So. Huh. Okay, that's cool. So nothing over here. So get closer. But I'm pretty sure the arcade. Yeah, arcade for sure. But there's nothing else that I can expect right now. Okay. Well, let's click the arcade cabinet. Ooh. The difficulty can be changed later. Oh, okay. Alright, um... Hey, Are we playing an arcade? Wait, this is an arcade? I thought it was a visual novel game. I'm so confused right now. Enemies aren't too strong. Ideal for survival life. Newbie, stress, and bladder. Obviously for true beginners. And then... Recommended? Uh... Well, you know what? For now, let's go level 2. Oh, full voices. Nice. Background sound is kind of loud. There wasn't a setting where I can change the sound, so gotta live with it for now. I mean, it's just a demo. Colorful lights illuminate the city below me. Oh, now I have to talk? Why, why, man? You, you were just talking earlier. <laughs> Each of those represents a family with people living their own lives. And I had snuffed one of them out. Had snuffed one of them out? Huh? Life has no reset button. I used to think these words held no meaning to me. Where did I go wrong? Oh, is he gonna commit? He's gonna commit suicide. Everything is so beautiful. I want to cry. He is crying. But the bright lights make me want to look away instead. That's why I hoped. That's why I prayed. Oh, wow, he jumped. That's why I just keep talking. Why do you make me talk? <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty violent. Splash? Wait, 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 splash! Water! Oh, so does he go to that uh, the island that we were just at? Oh, wow. Isekai? Oh. Oh, 
Yeah, that's my name. I'm Higurashi Haruto. Haruto Higurashi. Oh, there's an auto button here. KO, the KO Daigoku is like a really... I think it's like the best school in Tokyo if, I, if I'm correct. I'm not, I'm just a hypocrite. Begin. What is there to begin? My life is already over, just leave me alone. I recognize that sound, it's from that game. Game? What game? Where have I heard that sound before? Ah, damn it, it's so bright. Oh. I hear another voice calling for, for me. A girl this time. I'm so over this, just let me sleep. I'm tired of everything. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> don't touch me. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John? I've never heard of that. Like the Japanese, the the one that just played right now, the Japanese voice, the what she was singing. I've heard of that because I mean, you know, I grew up in a Japanese family, but I've never heard of "Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping, Brother John? Brother John?" <laughs> Why is she suddenly singing? Okay, never mind. I don't know this. <laughs> Why did he talk? So, if he if I'm I'm assuming that when he's thinking in his head, that's when there's no voices. But when he's talking, when his mouth open, he's ta he starts to talk. Got it. Sunlight. What happened to me? Forget that it's. I have to get up away from the excruciating heat, but quickly find myself at loss for words. Ooh. That, oh, that's an island, like... Hey, oh, there's like multiple islands. Whoa, that's crazy. And there's like... Buildings on them. I had been sleeping on a white sandy beach. Before me is a vast blue sea. And soaring above is a clear blue sky. Buildings and islands jet out of the sea at bizarre angles. And... Oh, whoa! An amputee. Oh, that's right, it was on the cover. I remember uh, her design on the cover, or on the 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 illustration that they released. <laughs> there you are, between the sky and the sea. Whoa, 3D. Is this heaven, or is it hell? I was on the roof of the building last night. Then. Nope, it's not heaven. You're on a garage island. Oh. And her hair, her ahoge, ahoge moves. <laughs> garage, sorry, I'm a bit confused. First of all, who are you? Was she the girl that I was chasing earlier? Maybe. Hey, you want to know my name? You really want to know Sachika's name, do you? So everything is basically not full voice. Okay, got it. She begins using her left pointer finger to write in the sand. Ooh. Sachika Hirasaka. This is the first time I'm meeting her, so I couldn't know her name. But why does it sound so familiar? It's nice to finally talk to you, Haruto. Hey, yeah, nice to meet you too. The girl who introduced herself as Sachika Hirasaka grins widely. There's something almost mystical about the stark contrast between her. Body and innocent smile. 
Uh, where did you say this place was again? Garage Island. Garage Island. Never heard of it, so this is an island. We're surrounded by the sea, so we can't leave here. We can't leave? Ooh. I notice all the buildings around us are dilapidated, rusty, deteriorating in some way. It's like the entire town had been neglected for decades. Mm. No, we lost everything. Uh. <laughs> I looked in the sand around where I'd woken up, but can't find a single coin laying around. It's all gone. Did someone steal them? I checked the watch on my left wrist. The time hasn't changed since last night and the second hand is no longer moving. How did I get here? You're, you were already on the ground when I found you. I poked you because I thought you were dead, but I'm glad you're still alive. She makes a poking gesture with her left hand and then smiles again. Where did you come from, Sachka? Do you live on this island? I came from the garage over there, that way. Everyone else is here, there too. Oh, everyone else, okay. Ah! So she has a prosthetic on her arm and her leg. Huh? Survival. What's that supposed to mean? Wait. If she's living on this island, your parents must be around too, right? Can you take me to them? Thought she's parents aren't around. They never were. Oh, I see. Sorry. I may have accidentally touched in, uh, uh, on an old wound of hers. That, that was careless of me. So yeah, we're doing survival stuff. Me, Ryo, Mamoru, Zen, oh, Minamo, Rinko, and Yuma too. You'll be joining us for now on too. I'll show you, I'll show you our garage. Thanks, let's go then. By the way, do you happen to have any water? I'm parched. Yeah, we've got water. I actually brought some for you. I left it over there so it wouldn't get dry. Let's pick it up on the way. Give me one second, someone is at my door real quick. Alright, sorry about that. Some like random guy just came to my house. <laughs> but uh, where were we? The girl quickly zips up in front of me and then lightly hops onto the cracked asphalt. Despite her prosthetic leg, her movement are remarkably nimble. Yes. Off to the garage. Aoi空。青い海。海に沈んだビル。光の消えた信号機。この透明で澄み渡る世界の終末のような場所で。僕の週末は終わりを迎えた。残機ゼロ。Oh, wait, we have HP and like what is that? MP, stamina? I don't know. A uh, map. The mini map is displayed on the top right of the screen. Okay. Press. That's okay. To check the entire map and press the X to place a marker. Oh, okay. Map information will automatically be added as you explore. Walk, run, and expect any points of interest to fill out the map. There are also times when you when your destination will be marked on the map. Be sure to check it often. Okay. So is there water? That where's that water that she was talking about? Can't go this way, huh? Okay. Well then. Um. Hmm. Oh, that's water, water over there. Oh. Doko. Is that, oh, that, is that it right there? I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Picking up items. Various items such as food or materials can be found on the ground. Target an object with a, the pointer and press the cross beam. Oh, okay. When an item is placed on the floor, there are already too many items there. Huh. The item will be lost, so be careful of the narrow pathways on, or small rooms. Lost items will wash up on the shores of the garage island. If a thrown item lands in a body of water, the item will be... Oh, okay. 
A picked up item can be sorted in the party menu party menu with triangle. You can also quickly pick up items without adjusting the cursor by pressing X immediately. Be sure to pick up any items you can you come across to help your survival go smoothly. So it's a survival visual novel type RPG game. That's what I'm assuming right now. Stamina. Um, grab food, bring it over to your character and press X to have them eat it. A character who eats food will have their stamina recovered. When stamina reaches zero, their life will gradually decrease. Make sure each character eats often so their stamina doesn't get depleted. Ooh, this sounds, sounds like a pretty rough game. Um, take... We're okay, right? I think we're okay for now. Um, pick up this open menu. For now. Or should we use it? Oh, we should use it, huh? Oh, we, we should have kept it. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. But let's go to the garage island. Nope, that's not where we're supposed to go. Over here. And then, voila. What a strange island. All the buildings seem to be in ruins and there's no sign of life anywhere. Da da da. Huh. Seems familiar. Whoa, because saw. Haruto got scared too. Lost in my thoughts as we walked, I nearly bumped into Sachika when she suddenly stops. Just an old rusted garage, nothing out of the ordinary in these ruins. Oh. What was that? I. I know this place. Ooh. I look up to find a man standing next to Sachika. He seems to be about my age, maybe a little younger. The young man with the headband smiles as he notices me. Hmm? Higurashi Haruto, right? Are you alright? You don't look too hot. They know him. I wonder why. Such kind of headband guy each take one of my arms. Then they forcefully lead me into the garage. Whoa. We have some cute girls on the left and all the guys on the right. Female police? Oh, she's wearing a police officer. Sir. Uh, shirt. <laughs> and she has a Kansai Ben accent. Muscular man. Is he a doctor? He has like, yeah, he, he seems like a doctor. I'm gonna assume it's the twin tail girl right there by Sachika on the left. <laughs> yeah, flower pin girl. Third day. You know, Sachika, the girl who found you on the beach, she was the first awake, so she's our islander, island elder. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the elder. You ain't the only one who had their stuff stolen. All our phones and and stuff got are gone too. God damn, this guy's huge. <laughs> this guy seems like some kind of farmer. <laughs> yeah, we're the only ones here now. There are only eight of us, including you. Oh, she seems cute. He's not lying. A woman answers as if responding to my inner thoughts, maybe my face shows my suspicions. A classy looking woman's voice is soft, but there is an air of dignity of authority to it. Uh, 
Oh, she's cute. Do you have any proof of that? was blank just a moment ago is now sh shouting at us with static noise. Ma. This is getting interesting. Egging me on, huh? Fine, I'll bite. Very well. I just need to turn the dial. At the point I still haven't realized that the TV's power cable isn't even plugged in to an outlet. So we go to the TV. The controls are gonna... It's hard to get used to. Okay. You can save your game data by pressing X and inspect save points on the map. Oh, okay. So the book is a save point. Got it. The game will also auto save. When it's game over, you will restart from your last save spot. Oh, okay. Hold on. Yeah, I need to get used to the controls. The old fashioned CRT continues displaying nothing but static. I have to admit, it's the first time I'm handling such a antique item. Slowly, I reach out my hand. With a bit of force, the Dial turns, making a loud snap. One channel a hop seems to do the trick. The static noise disappears to replace with extended TV. I've heard his voice somewhere, I just can't remember where. Both of their voices, actually. Oh, it's Frieza! It's Frieza's voice from Dragon Ball! <laughs> それじゃ、次の一緒に出すよ。トイレを作ろう。はい、会社。へ。待って。出すの超早い。遠い例を。違う声じゃなくて、初めは未来たちの自己紹介からだよ。え、またかい。もう何回もさ。ハルト君には
しょうくんには何回か説明してるよねそこまで驚かれると逆にびっくりだよあれでもどうやって僕たちがガイドするの僕たちって所詮テレビの住人じゃないかみんなとは生きる世界が違うんだよあその辺は理解してる設定なんだえっ、ー、とね未来たちが出すミッションをみんながクリアすることでガイドするんだよおっギギギギギギい,いくら僕たちのガイドがあったって普通の人にサバイバルなんて無理に決まってな何を悔しがってんのみんなには特別な力があるから大丈夫だよそれが神様からの贈り物みんなのおへそにあるペケジキーなのです This is really bothering me I know I've heard this voice somewhere ペケジキーなんだよそれペケジキーについてはまた後で説明するねまずはサバイバルできる拠点を作らなくちゃではしょうくん改めてミッションを発表してくださいアシスタントの僕にお任せ次のお題はこちら賄賂を渡そう誰にさっきは普通に言ってたでしょみんなにはこれから簡単なトイレを作ってもらいますトイレがないと大変なことになるんだよさっきのしょうくんみたいにね<笑><笑>褒めたってもう一滴も出ないやごごめん悪い例として紹介したんだ未来にトイレのこと言われたくないねだっていつも外でうんこしてるだろう。未来だってトイレでするよウォッシュレットだって使うもんふん道理で綺麗なケツしてなキャー<笑>もういい終わり締めの挨拶合言葉は人類の明るい未来を照らしましょうバイバイ I'm so confused <laughs> The TV power powers off with an aggressive buzz What was the ridiculous old cartoon? We're surviving on this island while following the orders issued from the Extend TV show you just saw. Rather, we're forced to obey them, I should say. That show is also how we know your name. Huh. Anyway, do we really need a toilet? Why don't we just piss wherever like we we've been doing? Listen, there are girls girls here too. We definitely need a toilet mission or not. It would also help prevent certain crimes before they happen. <laughs> I agree. Being seen is not a problem, but it would be unpleasant to see others doing their business. <laughs> The hell? I hadn't noticed the foreign presence there until this very moment. In a place of my belly button is a small X shaped object. Scary. Huh? 
So yeah, everyone has it. <笑>ついでに僕の復職金をご覧あれ。少し痩せたかしら。ご覧の通りや。うちら全員に取り付けられてるんよ。<笑> Maybe one of them is like the the mastermind. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just guessing. Such is different, huh? Uh, hmm. It's where the show's participants live under one roof, live under one roof, or have to survive a deserted island. Wait, are you saying we're on one of those shows right now? It's very likely this humanity is extinct thing must be some show setting. Yeah. We should assume whoever kidnapped us ain't afraid of law enforcement. They must have unfathomable amounts of money and power, isn't that right, madam? Who knows? Money and power sounds like a villain from a novel I re read a while back. Can such thing truly happen in real life? It doesn't sound like an age where search engines can show images of any location in the world. I wonder how long this demo is. <laughs> of us anymore. I haven't really accepted all of this yet, but it seems unlikely it's all an elaborated lie. So I'll revise my notions for now. It's not uncommon to find my initial theories and opinions misplaced after conducting an interview. I wonder if all of these people died too. I mean, Haruto did, so... Or the Haru or Haruto? Okay, so it is Haruto, okay. Alright, um... Actually, hold on. So we need to go over here first. Is that an arcade machine? Ever since my arrival, I have been curious about that giant object sitting in the back of the garage. At first glance, it seemed to be an arcade cabinet you'd find inside any game center. The cabinet is adorned with garnet. And garish de decorations creating a silhouette not unlike pipe organs. Above the cabinet, the word extend is. Oh, did I say exit in the beginning? It's extend. Okay, oops. <laughs> I can't read. Um, is display prominently in neon letters. Extend. Is that the game's title?
Hmm. We got Iruka Sensei from Naruto, the voice real here. Oh, 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 I just realized his the rope in, on on his <laughs> on his chest. I'm really not sure how to react. Some of my friends went to art universities, but I don't know anyone into the adult entertainment uh. genre. Oh. The cabinet's missing a few buttons. Guess we can't put even if maybe we have to find the buttons. That probably makes sense. Four Huh. Weird. But, um, well then. There's there's rope right there. Let's use that rope. <laughs> well then, um, I'm gonna save it real quick, actually. <laughs> 